Hello, I'm Saren and welcome to the Arts Connection Bite Size Workshops. Today I'll be teaching you guys how to make a macaron plant hanger. The ending result should look something like this. I'm just going to put it into, I mean over, this poor dying succulent that I can't seem to save. So you see what I mean. I've used very very thin twine for this one. Um, and you can use that as well, that's entirely up to you. Uh, but you can also use string or coloured wool or anything really. Um, yeah, it's entirely up to you. This is a very, very simple method and it literally just requires some string or twine and some scissors. Now, we're going to start by cutting six equal lengths of whatever your chosen material is. So I've chosen thick twine for this example because it's a bit easier to see on the screen than a thin one. There we go. Once you have all six equal lengths, I'm going to tie a knot in them right at the top. Okay, at some stage you're going to want to put this under something heavy so you can do the intricate parts a bit easier. But for now, we're just going to do it like this. So once you have tied the knot <laughs> at the top of here, separate into pairs of two. They'll naturally separate where they are next to each other anyway. Now I'm going to pick a length down this bit of twine, so I'm going to go for about there, I think. And I'm going to put a knot in these two. Now you can use a ruler or a measuring tape to measure out exactly where you want the knots to go beforehand. I tend to just pick with my eye and then use the knots that I have made to mark out where I need to make the knot on the next one, so about there. Now let's see if that's even. Ooh. So sometimes this will happen, the knots can move up or down the string, so we move up. So I'm just going to amend it, loosen it up again, and move it back down. Is that but not even almost? There we go. And on the last pair, do the exact same. Measure it out. And tight. Now here is probably when you're going to want uh, your weight. So I've got um, a heavy bit of wood in front of me, you can use a stone or a um, heavy jar possibly, or a pump pot. I'm just going to place it underneath my weight like that. There we go. So you see it's a bit easier to separate them. Now, Using one piece of string twine or thread from one of your um, 
pairs and another from another. We're going to join these together. I'll say about down there and cover it. And we're going to tie these two into a knot so they now form their own separate pair, creating a triangle. Like so. And then you do this all the way around until you have another three pairs. And again, if the knots are slightly uneven, just move them up or down as required. And last pair. There. Okay. Right. Now you should end up with a triangle in the middle. And all we're going to see now. We're going to join these together at the bottom in another big knot. That should be good, a little bit further down. Right, now pull each one tight. Okay. Now let's test this out. So, you then want to get your plant pot. Um, doesn't matter what shape really. Round ones tend to be quite nice and easy. And I'm going to use my poor dyeing succulent for this example. And I'm just gonna place it right in the middle Pull this up over the top, adjust it, make sure it fits nice and snug. And upright. And move the triangles along to fit it in place. And there we have it. And you've made a very easy Macram plant hanger. I've made so many of these. Um, I made so many that I ran out of plant pots and had to start sticking grapefruits in them to make sure that I had done them correctly. And that is ready to hang up in your garden or window. You can get inventive, so for example, um, as you can see on the workbook, I have done a few where I've added um, another another section, I've done a double one basically. With this, I've just gotten a much bigger bit of string, and after this big knot, I just start it again. Um, yeah, so you have a double hanging plant pot. And as you get better at them, you can become more intricate with uh, your knots, however many more you want at the ends, etc, etc. But this is a tried and tested, simple, quick and effective method. I hope you have enjoyed and I hope you enjoy making your own and thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.